Groundhoppers and welcome back to the channel. So if you've seen me before in this video you will know that I'm a big Gillingham fan because I come from Medway originally but there is another club in Medway that I sort of follow and I've followed for many years that are very close to my heart and that is Chatham Town and Chatham Town also Medway if you don't know the area and Chatham Town currently are top of the Isthmian South East League which is a tier 8 club and I'll pop up on the screen, if you're not familiar with non-league football in England, I'll show you exactly where Tier 8 is in the pyramid. But they are playing Ramsgate today. Ramsgate are second, so it's a top-of-the-table clash. Currently Chatham are two points ahead of Ramsgate, and there's three games to go. So Chatham win today's game, they go five points clear with two games left. So, so it's a big game today. There's lots of cars around the streets, and this game's an all-ticket game today. So don't quite know what the attendance is going to be. But if Chatham win today, you know, they could almost secure promotion into the sort of Isthmian Premier League, which would be a big step up for them, but it'd be a good step up. But last year, when they played Sheppard United, who got promoted with them out of this South, South Eastern Counties League, um, there was just under 1,900 that watched a Tier 9 game, which was a record for that level. So I'm hoping there's going to be something similar today, crowd-wise. Would it make 2,000? I don't know. I hope so. Really hoping for a good atmosphere. I love non-league football. I'm very passionate about non-league football. And I just hope that Chatham can win today. So it's going to be a completely biased video towards Chatham Town. But I'm parked literally five minutes away, so I'm going to walk down to the ground and have a little wander around. Walking to the ground now. There's a lot of cars about, which is a good sign. What you normally find is when Gillingham, so Gillingham today, they're away to Northampton. And when Gillingham normally play away, there's a lot of Jills fans that come watch Chatham Town if they're playing at home. So they pick up quite a bit of residual support. But um, yeah, it's a bit of a buzz about the place really, because this is, if Chatham were to get promoted, this will be the highest they've been for years uh, into this sort of Eastman Premier, which is a great step up for them. But, um, about an hour to kick off, but there's quite a few people milling about. But I'm going to have a little wander around the ground and I'll see you inside the ground. The Bullville Stadium. Come on, chance. So 10 minutes in, um, that was the best chance I've ever Chatham, Danny Kedwell, remember him? Ex Gillingham and Wimbledon striker, just hitting past the post. But yeah, lovely start, decent crowd. I love these non-league games where it's really packed out, everyone's just round around the edges like this. It just makes a really good atmosphere, but still nil-nil. The rain has stopped, it absolutely poured down for five minutes early on, but got a break in the sky, the clouds, but hoping for a Chatham win, but it's still nil-nil. <laughs>
have had a few really decent chances this team. Chats have been very unlucky. A few corners as well. Still nil nil, but currently Chatham definitely the team on top. Oh, I feel so good to get a goal this end for the first half, but it's still nil nil with about five minutes to go from the first half. Second half just started now. Rams like they just hit the post, but um, just announced the attendance today. It's just over 2,500, which is a club record. And bear in mind, this is a two eight game, so that's a pretty decent crowd. I'm quite impressed with that, but um, yeah, just coming in, it's still nil nil. We're shooting this end now, so I've moved around the ground a bit to try and get a better view, but um. Apart from that, um, the rain stopped and the atmosphere is pretty lively and um, just need a goal now, a home goal to really, really get things going. Great token goal, crowd gone crazy, just a couple minutes left really, but it looks like it's going to be a home win. Chatham is so close to getting promoted, but um, yeah, the crowd have really been up for it today. Been really impressed with um, the attendance and the atmosphere, but um, a great, great performance by Chatham. They've been well on top to be fair, most of the game against Ramsey, who are second in the league, but yeah, so so far it's 2 0 with a couple minutes to go. Come on, Chats. Full time, Chatham Town 2, Ramsgate nil. A really great game. Atmosphere was really, really good. Really impressed with the with the fans. As I said earlier on, just over 2,500 at the game, which would be higher than a lot of clubs. You know, a few divisions higher than than Chatham. It's not bad for a tier eight club. Hopefully, be tier seven next season. So that win put some five points clear above Ramsgate with two games left. So just got a little bit more work to do to get them over the line, but it's looking pretty good for Chatham to get promoted. 
mean, in all fairness, they were favourites at the beginning of the season. And I think they spent pretty big for this level. But, you know, not every club that spends big sort of delivers, but they have delivered. And hopefully that will get them over the line and get promoted next season into the Isthmian Premier. So all good fun. And I'm really pleased for the club to finally get up to a level I think they should, you know, they deserve to be at. So thank you for watching this video. If you made it to the end, uh, please subscribe, please like, and please comment. I try and reply to all the comments. And follow me on Twitter as well. And I will see you at my next game, which will probably be end of this week. Bye for now.